ladies and gentlemen, I have struck gold. What's up guys, thank you for tuning in for a new video. In terms of striking gold, I'm expressing my excitement for the uh, lovely little gift box that I received not too long ago. This particular gift box was sent to me by none other than AJ Fernandez and uh, it encased in this box and if you didn't catch the uh, unboxing, please do check out uh, the unboxing on my Instagram. I'll leave a link in the description below. But uh, I was fortunate enough to have AJ, uh, some people from AJ Fernandez get in touch with me and they decided they wanted to collaborate with me. They said they would be sending me a gift box along very soon and then next thing you know, this is on my porch without saying I was very psyched to receive it just because I always love trying new cigars. And so AJ Fernandez has yet to disappoint me and I have no doubt in my mind that uh, this is gonna be another one of those experiences. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it and cue that intro. What's up, guys? You are watching Dad Smoking Cigars, sponsored by StogieLives.com, cigar social media, and of course, Casa Cuevas Cigars. From our casa to yours, thank you so much for joining me for another video. I'm here, I'm back doing another review. It's been a while since I've done a review video, and I'm particularly excited about this one. But full transparency, apparently, my computer was running out of space, and as I was recording, my initial cut, light, and all of that, it decided it couldn't handle it. So here I am, cigars already cut, lit. I'm only just a tiny bit of the way into it. And uh, here are my thoughts so far summed up since all the original thoughts didn't make it in the cut. Initial puffs, powerful spice, and just earthiness mixed with cedar prior to that the cold draw was just a very lovely almost like cinnamon raisin flavor with cedar very strong cedar mixed in with it but as soon as i lit it up that spice kicked me full on in the face and it was a very powerful kind of like cinnamon spice where the heat just lingered on the front of the tongue you think about certain cinnamon candies when you eat them just that heat lingers on the front of the palate when you are consuming them I ashed on my microphone, whoops. On the back of the palate, it is more woody, creamy, subtle sweetness, but in any case, incredibly delicious so far. And the spice has tapered off a bit. It is only lingering ever so subtly on the front of the palate, back of the palate, more of that woody, um, creamy flavor, subtle sweetness, still lingering back there. So just again, woody earthiness very subtly sweet with some cream on the back end. That's what's coming through the strongest right now, now that the spice is tapered down. The, uh, the initial puffs you should have seen just because, you know, and I wish you had, but uh, when I did the retro hail, man, it was just pow, right in, my, right in my face. But it was so good, just those initial puffs. And, uh, you know, uh, it's a it's a whole new world. Ha 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 ha. Dad jokes aside, it's true. This is a whole new world, and uh, and it's a wonderful uh, addition to the New World series from AJ Fernandez. I've had um, the original New World, and I think I, I've I've also had the New World Cameroon, and both were excellent. I enjoyed both of them very very much. So I'm very um, it's a pleasure and a privilege to get to try this and uh, give you my honest thoughts about it so far. It's technically a Nicaraguan Puro because the wrapper is a Habano Sun Grown from Nicaragua as well as Nicaraguan Binder and Filler. And I've told you over and over again and I'm pretty sure ad nauseum and you're now sick of it. But at the same time, I know a lot of people share the same um, palate and taste that I do. I love Nicaraguan tobacco. It never disappoints me. Uh, any cigar that has it blended into it is always excellent in my opinion. So I had to move the band back a little bit. I think I might just uh, go ahead and slide it right off, which it slides off nice and easy. It's a beautiful gold embossed band. 
man, that's gonna that's gonna be a nice uh, addition to my band collection, which keeps growing. It's blowing up the drawer here in my studio, so I'm gonna need to find another place to put most of them. But there's been a little bit of a transition, subtle, but it's there. Starting to get some leather in the uh, flavor profile as I'm continuing to smoke it down. Beautiful thing is that I haven't had to relight this or touch it up once. Not at all. Nothing. I have, uh, yeah, a flame hasn't touched this cigar since I first lit it. So that is incredible. And yeah, the construction is really good. It's got uh, a bit of give to it, but it is still excellent. Uh, it's smoking down a little bit faster than I thought it would, but at the same time, not such a big deal. I'm still getting great flavor out of it. Yeah, much more leathery, a little earthy, woody. Just subtle hint of spice. Some of that sweetness has already dissipated quite a bit but it is still offering a very tasty smoke and i'm kind of loving the uh subtle and slow transition nothing overly complex but there's uh just something about the simplicity of it that i really like lots of leather just coming through really really clear and pronounced Leather, leather, leather with just a mix of that earthy, spicy woodiness. If that may, again, if that makes any sense, but it's there and I'm enjoying it. It's really good. Very good. Um, smoke output's great. Again, the draw has improved significantly since I first started. It was a bit light at first, but then got a little bit more of a handle on it as it opened back up. Um, but yeah, the construction is good, burn is good, haven't had to touch it up or relight. And yeah, the flavor is transitioning nicely. Nothing too crazy, but very, very good so far. So I'm winding down here. I'm impressed by a number of things regarding the Dorado, but the one thing that I have been most impressed with is that no, no matter how long I let this cigar sit, um, it just keeps burning and burning and burning. I think though, admittedly, I had to like, kind of just give it a little bit of a, of a little bit of a torch, just so subtle of a torch, um, to kind of keep it going. Cause it looked like it was kind of starting to smolder out, but honestly, the majority of the time I could leave it sitting, let it rest, kind of take a break relax watching a movie in between and it kept burning it kept going and i'm really impressed with that and the burn line is not obviously razor straight but it is say pretty even really no no tunneling no canoeing no anything like that um the construction the blend and just how this cigar is put together fantastic at this point it's mainly leather and wood and the flavor profile a little bit more spice as it comes down to the end that started to kick back in even made my eyes water just a little bit um, especially with a little bit of the retro hail but yeah lots of leather earth wood just those you know simple you know i guess you could say natural types of flavors um, that you get out of a cigar um, no sweetness anymore, but that's okay. Um, it's kind of like branching into the savory a little bit, making my mouth water quite a bit. There's a subtle saltiness to it. Not much, just a little bit along with the leather. I think that's just kind of, uh, giving more savory notes at this point. But yeah. Ooh, whoa. Toasty, very toasty with that one right there. Ooh, ooh whoa, 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 whoa really aromatic just flavor right there almost hmm almost kind of like a mentally type of uh overtone just then along with the leather kind of had like a almost a medicinal type of uh feel to it the taste to it, uh, as i was getting those flavors but goodness that kind of came out of nowhere Suffice it to say, this has been a very pleasurable smoke, 
very lovely relaxing experience i feel very again um privileged to have gotten a chance to be among you know so many people who were sent this little uh gift box care package from the lovely people at aj fernandez i'm so so grateful thank you so much to the people at aj fernandez who um appreciate what i do as a content creator and enough so that they uh wanted to get my honest thoughts on this cigar and trusted my judgment and my palate to give it a try and it was well well worth it i appreciate your investment in me thank you guys so much this is an excellent cigar once again aj fernandez has not disappointed so thank you guys so much I'm going to leave some links in the description below where you can get yourself some AJ Fernandez uh, Dora uh, New World Dorado. Um, I think that uh, the price point on some of the cigars, I'm not sure which Fatola specifically, is as low as $11. That is pretty freaking awesome. Depending on where you buy it from, there's a number of online retailers that carry it. And I will leave about you know two or three links down below where you can get it yourself. That's it for me, friends. I appreciate you tuning in. I hope that uh, this piqued your interest and that you will get yourself some uh, New World Dorado. It is well worth the purchase. Um, thank you again to the wonderful people at AJ Fernandez. Thank you all who tuned in. Thank you guys for your support. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Click that like button because it helps my channel become more visible to those who are interested in cigars, learning more about cigars or cigar aficionados themselves. I appreciate you guys very, very much. Take care of yourselves, and as always, I will catch you in the next one.